All right, so we're back. Uh, we're, we're here still at the roll place. So maybe I gave you terrible advice last time saying to, to roll as much as possible. We want to save those for the groups. Like these guys here, then we can just fight them. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not so much. Okay. Oh, there's a wall right here. See, it's so helpful. Is there I I would hope that they wouldn't put any of the collectibles in like a wide open area like this. But there's enough nooks and crannies here to to put stuff there. I'm also thinking maybe uploading some Sim City. So, you know, post in the comments if you want to see anything like that. Now the thing is, if I do record Unity, I'll have, in, I'll be importing most of the assets for it, and if you don't know what that means, well, that's good, because that means you're not, like, some sort of game dev expert. Uh, neither am I. <laughs> Just because I can use the tools, doesn't mean I'm good at them. Uh, well, I'm, I'm okay at them. I know all the tools, all the functions. I couldn't make some sort of, like, AAA award-winning title on my own. Probably something, like, really, really indie. I mean, when I say really indie, I mean like 8 bit. <laughs> uh, now, I guess I, I guess I involve using Unity 2D. Uh, if that's even still alive, huh? I don't know if they still have Unity 2D. Anyways, I, I would publish it, uh, publish my game somewhere, but I think I can only publish it to the asset store without buying a license. And the licenses are $500. They really, they really like to discourage people from making indie projects. I mean, I, it's just to protect their... I can put it on the asset store, though, uh, to let people download it when it's done. But basically, it would be, it would be a, th a third or first person shooter. I don't know if I'd have it like be toggleable, like Arma, but it would be a shooter of some type. I'm thinking something where the world ended and. You're like some sort of cool uh, guy who goes and fights things. I don't know. <clears throat> hole. The thing I said hole went in that hole. Now, I dove in there before thinking that that was totally the way to go. I think we should have fireworks. Holy crap! How many flares can I have? There's nothing over here. No games. No Night Springs games. Nobody wants to play Night Springs up here, up in this piece. Okay, I guess this piece here. Totally not a fan of the game Night Springs. I didn't. I. Oh, what's that? Was that Night Springs there? I have no idea where any of the collectibles are. So I'm sorry if you want a 100% guide of these, but I, I'm trying to do 100% in Metroid Prime 2. Oh yeah, that's what you do. I thought you had to dive in the hole, but you don't dive in the hole. You throw something down the hole and get some more flares. See, I must not have used these then because I would uh, I probably had flares on me from earlier. Okay, can't go that way. And then the shopping cart. If 
you ask me, Bright Falls doesn't seem like the kind of town where people leave shopping carts in the sewers. Ooh, I fell in a hole. I think I'm in a sewer, at least. I don't know exactly if this is a sewer or not. Not a good sound you want to hear when you're in a sewer. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, I just got hit. You don't think I don't know you're there? Okay. That's the last of them. <clears throat> oh, avoid the holes. We don't want to fall in a hole because that means we'll get closer to the end and we won't have to look for correct bars. I'm not doing like a 100% collectible guide. I'm still going to look for most of them. I'm not that lazy. I'm not going to be like, well, I don't know, a lot of them are, so I just give up. Okay, the uh, there must have been one in the back there, but I probably already got it. So we can just go in here. Well, this is a nice place. someone lives in. <laughs> we can probably get to the other side of the platform from here. Always look around. It's a good rule to live. Okay, so this is the Ferris wheel. <laughs> this part's a bit crazy. Basically, all these scenes from Wake's life are rotating around us. And it's a bit weird to try to get through all the doors. And you can't really get up any stairs until you reach a certain point where it's flat. should be pretty obvious. So a lot of the times you gotta wait for these stairs to come around. Oh, I've never s I wonder if they ever hit anything in the Ferris wheel. I call it a Ferris wheel, it's not much of a Ferris wheel. It's just a it's just a rotating thing. Like that old fashioned typewriter noise. Alright, so we're in the next part of the wheel. This is when it gets. This is where it gets crazy. We're going to wait this out, and these will rotate back around. Don't want to get in between, we want to follow them. And then get off their path. Now, do we have to go through that hole there? No, we want to wait for the 
Now, if we fall down, I don't think that's good, but we want to wait for it to rotate, and then we walk through it as if it were a normal door. Right? Yeah, because then we can go through here, which uh, looks like it will kill us. Okay, it didn't kill us, but I, I am now... Okay, now we gotta wait for it to flatten out. Yeah, see, that part had me stuck for a while trying to figure out, like, what to do with this door. I just keep, if you fall through it, you just start the whole circle over again. Anyways, we're probably just going to end it here, so I will see you guys next time.